32 faders on the front and 32 and a half inches wide. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs>Today I'm going to show you how to set up a digital mixing console using the Persona Studio Live 32S as well as go over some general features of a digital mixing console. Before we get started, knowing your channel count and desk size is vital information when choosing a digital mixing console. Every brand and model has its own channel count and size, so knowing what your needs are determines which model and brand to go with. Take for example the Studio Live 32S in this demo. It's 32 channels on the back. 32 faders on the front, and 32 and a half inches wide. Once you familiarize yourself with the different makes and models of mixers, knowing the different protocols available is also beneficial information. For example, Personas uses AVB, Yamaha uses Dante, and Allen & Heath uses S-Link. Your application determines which protocol best integrates with your needs. First, let's talk I.O. For the immediate, we're only gonna focus on our inputs, our outputs for monitors, and our dedicated left and right mains. For the purpose of this video, we're only going to be using channel 1 for our microphone and our dedicated outputs for mains. Now that we have our mic hooked up and our mains plugged in, let's go ahead and get sound to mains. Right out of the box, our channels are going to the mains, but they're all flat. So if we wanted to go ahead and get channel 1 going, we have a signal going now. But if you want to get a general preset EQ set up, every digital mixing console has presets. Depending on which make and model you have, depends on where your presets are. For this, we're going to go to EQ, we're going to go to presets, and we're going to scroll down to a male vocal. So we have this here, recall. Now we have an EQ and dynamic setup for a male vocal. So now we have a solid setup. Now that we have our main set up and running, let's mix our monitors. Over on the side, we have our mix 1 through 16. Now your console is going to be different depending on which make and model you go with. But for the sake of this, our monitor mix is on the side. So we're going to send channel 1 to mix 1 and make sure our master on mix 1 is pushed up. Now we have more of channel 1 and monitor 1. Go back to main mix. Now you're mixing front of house. That's how easy it is to set up and mix a digital mixing console. If you have any other questions on digital mixing consoles, feel free to call 1-800-203-5611 and one of our skilled account managers can help find the right fit for you. Or you can check out our website at soundpro.com and see what we have to offer. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.